This is an actual story from um, 2007. Does anybody remember the story of Lisa Nowak? Woo! Yes! Um, she was crazy! Yeah! <laughs> Here's the story. Diaper. <laughs> let me let me tell you. Diaper. Let me tell you why verbally on this microphone that I'm holding. Um, Lisa Nowak was an astronaut who was up at the International Space Station, I believe, operating mechanical arms um, for a couple of years. She was a literal girl boss. Hashtag slay. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and up there, she met Bill Oathman, who she eventually established a relationship that she described as less than lovers, more than friends. Um, they returned to Earth, and he ghosted her. This term did not exist in 2007, but he did. Bill Oathman did not reach out to her, and she eventually heard word of a new relationship that he had started with a woman in the Air Force. Uh, upon hearing this news, Lisa Nowak got a wild hair up her ass and decided to drive in one fail swoop from Houston, Texas to the eastern coast of Florida. The interesting part about this story is that when they looked through her car, they not only found kidnapping supplies, which you would expect from a spurned woman, yeah. Yeah. We, all, we all have folding knives and wigs in the back of our car, that's true, actually. <laughs> Um, but they also found a well-opened, well-used package of Depends adult underwear. Um, she, in court, to this day, swears to God that they were not used to get her through that drive, but how else would she have made it in one fail swoop? So, this song is written from the world in which she used those Depends for what exactly we thought she did. <laughs> My partner, less than lovers, but more than friends. He said it wouldn't last, but like the cosmos, I don't think it ends. They say he's going steady with some woman, but I don't know. I've never met this person, but I think that I should go and say hello. I wish that he'd step back and weigh his options for what they're worth. She may be smart and pretty, oh, but our love has orbited the earth. So I don't tell my parents, and I don't tell my friends. I just grab some rubber tubing, and I pull on my Depends, and then I drive. It's time for a road trip. Cheer! We all love car travel. I printed out these letters that he sent her, and stuff like that. to her house so we might have a little chat. I'll take this airsoft pistol should she make threats against my life. A wig and pepper spray and this eight-inch Gerber folding knife. I will not let my man pursue her. Tell my friends I just grab some rubber tubing and I pull on my depends and then I drive. It's time for a road trip. It's the easiest instrument to learn. She's just a captain in the Air Force. She's never been in outer space. I guess I'll have to go. She should know her place. <laughs> she had an IQ that exceeded 150. She was a 
best in her field, but was written off as a crazy person because she was gaslit by a man. <laughs> I pass through the state border and I'm welcomed by a sign. I can feel my heart pounding in my temples and justice will be mine. She's nowhere in the airport that I recognize her car. I see no reason why I should be nervous. I've already come this far. I will not let her victimize me. At this point, nothing can surprise me, so I don't tell my parents. And I don't tell my friends, I just grab some rubber tubing And I pull on my depends and then I drive It's time for a road trip 